I'm going the opposite way. Answer on this one is five. Answer for this one is negative three. On this problem, you must move this to the right side and change the sign to plus. Answer is negative one. Move this to this side. Change the sign. It makes it minus two. And you have four minus two is two, but you have to divide both sides by negative one to get a negative two. <coughs> You must move this to the right side and make it minus. So 2x equals 22. Divide 22 by 2. Get 11. Homework check. Before you bring up the homework, you must have your graph papers fanned out in your hand. Do not stand up here and try to thumb through them one at a time. So that'll be your second. Or is that your first? All right, okay. All right, here we go. Garrett. And lizard. Boy. Askins, all right. And Woodrow. Mary. Eleven C. Where's your other paper? I thought we didn't have to do the top ones. Oh, that's fine. All right, Carver. All right. Oh, really? Amen. Perfect. Wilburn. Spradlin. Is which one? I need to get these for homework tonight. Which one? None. I mean, you don't have to. You don't need anything right now. I'll let everybody know when they have to come get it. When, uh, what do we need for last night's homework? Last night's homework, you need uh, five of these, I believe. Five of those. <coughs> All right, so we have a total of two, eight, uh, 13, and then she'll make 18. There's 22. 22 and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Don't look at my number. Yes. Here's a multiple choice before we go through the answers. Block letter only. All right, for this one, Yesterday, I showed you how to find the y-intercept, just as always. Remember when you change this to slope-intercept form from standard form, and the last number is the y-intercept. There's another way you can find not only the y-intercept, but the x-intercept, and they're almost identical. So I'll show you this new way, and you can choose which one you would rather use. If you're going to find the y-intercept, then put a zero in where x is at. So 3 times 0 plus 2y equals a negative 6. When you put a 0 in to that x term, it just cancels it out. You're left with 2y equals a negative 6. Divide negative 6 by 2, and you'll get a negative 3, which is a. Here are the homework answers. 
these are a half point each. Each intercept is a half point. A half point for the y-intercept, half point for the x-intercept. For the y-intercept, you should have negative 5. The x-intercept is 3 and a third. For number 2, it's 3 for the y-intercept and 2 and 2 fifths for the x-intercept. For number 3, it's negative 3 for the y and 1 for the x. For number 4, it's negative 2 for the y and negative 8 for the x. Five is negative three for the y and nine for the x. On number six, the equation is y equals fifty x plus sixty. And uh, for your scale, what I did on everything six through ten is I made the months. One month was equivalent to three hash marks. So every third mark, I put a month down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I did that for all of them, 6 through 10. My y-axis changed in almost all of them. In this case, I wrote uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 for each mark. And then when you plot your 60 and then go up 50 and to the right 1, going up 50 and to the right 1 takes you right there because 1 is 3 marks and, of course, 50 is 5 of them since it's 10. On this one... The equation is y equals 45x plus 20, and every second mark on the y-axis I made 15. On number 8, the y-axis, I didn't even write all of them in, and you don't have to. You can start with nothing, and then on the fifth one put 50 if you're going by tens. The tenth one put 100, the fifteenth one 150. You don't have to write every single number in there. It gets kind of crowded. The equation was y equals 30x plus 100. So there's my 100, and I went up 30 and over 1. The equation for 9 is y equals 80x plus 75. And I went by 20s on the y-axis. Your graphs could be a little less steep than mine. You could, yours could even be steeper. It depends on what you made your scale. On the test, I may even make a scale for you, or I could give you a blank graph and you would have to create a scale, and then I would go through each one on that particular problem and make sure as long as your graph is consistent, then you would have credit for it. So not all graphs will look the exact same. Last one, y equals 60x plus 125. I went up by 20s again on the y-axis. Today's objective, we have to do more with labels and scales. We may not get to that part of the problem today, uh, but tomorrow will be all labels and scales tomorrow with graphs. In the meantime, we have to practice the different way of finding x and y intercepts. So you can have a choice, Bobby Joe. You can have a choice. So, here it is. If you want to find the x-intercept, then in addition to having a thicker pen, there it is, you should put in a zero for y. Whatever you're finding, put a zero into the opposite variable. So 4x minus 2 times... 0 equals 6. When you put a 0 into the y term, it cancels that part out, and you're just left with 4x equals 6. So divide 6 by 4, reduce if necessary, and create a mixed number if necessary. So 1 and a half would be your x value. For the y-intercept, you put a variable into the x. So 4 times 0 minus 2y equals 6. What happens to the 4 times 0? Cancels out. So you have negative 2y equals 6.
and divide 6 by negative 2 and come up with negative 3. When you turn in an answer, always make sure you signify that uh, one, it's illegal to have your head down in class. Two, you put an x-intercept here, and y-intercept goes there. This goes to the first seven people. For this problem, you must move your x term over to the left-hand side and change the sign. Once you do that, divide negative 8 by 2 to get negative 4. This is for the first 10 people. First 10. Here it is. Move this to the left. Change it to plot or a plus and then you have equals 15. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. Try the practice problem. On this problem, to find the x-intercept, you put a 0 in for y, which means this cancels out. You're left with 4x equals 10. Divide 10 by 4. Simplify that to 5 over 2. Make a mixed number of 2 and a half. Now for the y-intercept, put a 0 in for x. And that should be a 0. Minus 2y equals 10. So it's going to be a cancellation there. Negative 2y equals 10. Divide 10 by negative 2 to get negative 5. Move this to the right side. Change it to plus 4. So it's negative 8 now. Divide negative 8 by 2. Answer is negative 4. All right, to find the x-intercept, we have to put a 0 in for the y. And when we do that, it's going to cancel out that term, leaving us with 5x equals a negative 14. We'll divide that negative 14 by 5, making a mixed number of negative 2 and 4 fifths for the x-intercept. Uh. The answer to this bonus problem should be 1. The answer for this one should be negative 4.